Good afternoon. I'm Max Wiese. We are going to talk about networks in Schleswig-Holstein who engage in renewable energies and have a focus on hydrogen as a key enabler for decarbonizing mobility, heating and cooling, and industry. Schleswig-Holstein is the northernmost state in Germany, between Hamburg in the south and Denmark to the north. We are the only state with a coastline towards the North Sea as well as the Baltic Sea, so we have a lot of wind. Here is where Germany started its rollout of wind energy with a three megawatt test machine called Grovian. This was a flop, but the subsequent rollout of wind energy was a big success. Agriculture and tourism used to dominate the countryside until the first Renewable Energy Act pushed forward renewable energy, especially wind. I lead ESH, the renewable energy class in our state. In the recent years, our focus has shifted from renewable energy production towards making best use of that green energy to decarbonize our life. And hydrogen can and will play an important part in this challenge. On the network side, we work closely together with the Regional Renewable Energy Business Organization, LEESH. It has close to 200 members, amongst which are all the important business organizations for wind, bio and solar energy. But 2.0 is another close cooperation partner of ours and invited me to the session. Many of the hydrogen projects in our state, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, are driven directly by members of WAT 2.0 or LEESH. We work together to push forward the energy transition and to drive value creation from the renewable energy business, which is why quite a few studies and papers on this topic have been issued in the past. But most important, many projects have started over the last few years in all parts of our country. These projects range from hydrogen use for transfer to feeding hydrogen into natural gas pipelines to making airplane fuel from it. In the eFarm project, hydrogen is generated directly at five different wind parks. Tank trucks collect the hydrogen and carry it to two hydrogen filling stations. Two buses with hydrogen fuel cells are operated on, on standard public transport lines. They create sufficient demand at the filling stations. The Future Fuels Cluster comprises of some of the leading transportation and logistics service providers in our state and other partners. All of them will start using diesel trucks where the drivetrain gets exchanged with fuel cells and electric engines as early as summer 2022. Windgas Harrop is one of two projects where wind energy that can't be fed into the grip at times of overproduction is used to run electrolyzers and produce hydrogen, which is then fed directly into the natural gas pipeline grid instead. Now, West Coast 100 is one of the two major projects in our region. It will not only feed green hydrogen from offshore wind into the gas grid, but supply it for the production of synthetic fuels using carbon dioxide captured in the salmon production process. Not only Schleswig-Holstein, but also the region of northern Germany in total has a huge potential for the application of new hydrogen technologies. The three largest states are leading Germany in terms of renewable energy production, and the region is also home to significant industries. Example, while Schleswig-Holstein has a 60% overproduction today, the city of Hamburg is in need of green energy from the outside. In combination, production and consumption are nearly in balance already today. Norddeutsches Reallabor is a 350 million euro project aiming to establish this balance in reality. Consequently, the northern German states signed a joint strategy already a year ago. The goal is to establish 5 gigawatts of hydrogen production capacity in the next 10 years. EESH manages one of four work packages of the strategy implementation, dealing with hydrogen value chains. Coming back to Schleswig-Holstein, we have a state strategy for the support of the hydrogen ramp up since a few weeks as well. 
and focuses on a coordination body, further studies, and 30 million extra funding to support more projects in this field. We have very good preconditions for hydrogen projects and industrial locations as well, like significant surplus energy, suitable underground storage structures, or R&D capabilities. The Energy Coast Initiative is one of the regional marketing activities to build on this strain. In summary, our state offers optimal conditions for hydrogen projects or setting up businesses in the hydrogen value chain. Schleswig-Holstein is working together with many partners like the other northern German states to drive the implementation of a hydrogen economy. We and our network members are engaged in many of these activities and we work closely together with the relevant state institutions. So it is always a good idea to contact one of us if you want to learn more about the opportunities in our region. I hope I was able to provide you with a little insight into what's going on in Schleswig-Holstein and how we or our partners can help you. Please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.